Mario, centipede! Holy cow, giant desert centipede. You're usually on the move this time of night, and I saw it just tuck up under this log. Can you still see it through this hole? I can, yeah. It is right here. They're extremely fast. The giant desert centipede is, without question, one of the most painful bites you can receive in the United States, period. You think of a rattlesnake as being something you don't want to get bitten by? I have been bitten by the giant desert centipede. Ugh. I get so nervous working around centipedes because they are so fast and they can grapple onto pretty much anything that they want to. Oh, this is such a delicate little balance. I'm gonna move this log out of the way and get it onto here. There we go. You can see what it's doing right now. It's feeling around with those antennas saying, okay, what can I grip onto next? And if it's something that I need to bite, then I will. Now, the best way for me to handle this centipede and to keep it calm is to just have it walking back and forth on this stick. This one's a little too small for me to necessarily get control of the head. I don't need to put it under that much stress. And no matter what you do, whenever you're interacting with a centipede, your heart absolutely races. You hear the name centipede and you think, okay, is that a thousand legs? No, on average, they have somewhere between 50 and 60 legs, depending on the size of the centipede itself. Very strong creature for its size. And the exoskeleton, which lines each segment of the body is incredibly rigid. So it's not that you would ever want to step on top of one of these things, but if you accidentally did, you're not gonna squish it. All it's gonna do is spin around and bite you on the foot. It's not an insect and it's not an arachnid. It's something called a myriapod. Centipedes and millipedes both belong to that family. And what's very unique about the giant desert centipede is it has a false head. So that's actually the back part of the animal right here. The back end looks just like the front end. So if a predator comes into the environment and grabs onto the back, you see this looks like two false antennae right there, it can swing its body around and inflict that bite. This creature will latch on with those mandibles, wrap its body around and inject it full of venom and immediately subdues the prey. And then they essentially just drink out the insides. But those mandibles are razor sharp and will lock on in place like a grappling hook. The venom of this creature is not nearly as potent, right? It's not hematoxic. It's not gonna literally break down your skin and cause necrosis. But what it does is explode your red blood cells from the inside out. Now, when I was bitten by one of these centipedes, keep in mind, I did this intentionally to show you what would happen. My arm swelled up to nearly three times its normal size, and it was one of the worst pains I've ever experienced. For nine hours, I was in excruciating pain, so much so that I couldn't even sit still. This is not something that if it bites you is going to kill you. So it's not technically deadly, but I would consider it dangerous. They can grow up to 12 inches in length. This is the largest centipede species that lives in North America. But if there is one creature on this planet that truly makes my skin crawl, it is the giant desert centipede. <laughs>